All right, guys, we're out here doing some pest control. We got pigeons aggravating my church to death, and we're hunting scope cam with the suppressed air rifle. They're right there on the power line. Here we go. We're going for our first one. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. No, he's calm. He's calm. Alright guys, so as you can imagine, pigeons can be an absolute pest. And uh, that's one of the reasons why they have literally a year-round season. So anytime I can come out here and take a few pigeons out, that's always going to be a plus. And even better than that, we're going to end up eating these. And uh, we're going to show you guys how to turn a pigeon into something that tastes really good. Whenever I hit it, I was like, my gun ain't got no power. Because I forgot that just because it has a suppressor and just because it's quieter does not mean that I have sacrificed any power. But yeah, guys, this is the rig I'm running. It's just a pretty basic. It's a PCP 22 caliber air rifle. It's got a basic scope on it and then just a little like $100 suppressor I bought for it. Since it's for an air gun, I can just get on eBay and buy this. It's literally just like 3D printed plastic. I'm going to send you guys back in time about 20 minutes where we tested the sound of this thing with and without a suppressor. So first we're going to see what it sounds like without suppressed. It's not loud compared to something like an actual 22 rifle, but it is still kind of boom. I'm just going to thread this off and put this little air gun suppressor on and we'll see how much quieter this really makes it. All right, here we go. With the suppressor, that definitely cuts down on the noise by a ton. And the best part about it is that I can make this gun so much quieter, but not sacrifice any power at all. It's still just as powerful and just as deadly as it was before I put the suppressor on. It's insane! All right, so one thing that a lot of people don't really know about pigeons, and I'm not an expert on it, but where exactly is their vitals? I've shot a lot of pigeons where, you know, maybe you hit them in the breast or something, they can't fly, but they can still run and they just run away. For example, check this out. Their true vitals are actually like back here on their back. So if you're ever hunting pigeons or something, you actually kind of want to aim for its back. Preferably you can get straight on or straight in the back. That's probably your best bet. But just keep that in mind because I've actually had quite a few run away from it. Guys, we're in a pretty good scenario right now because this thing is so quiet, they don't know what's going on. As long as they don't associate us walking around with their stinking nefsons getting knocked out of the sky, we'll be fine. So far, dude, this is working out really good. We have went two for two, and they've been stone dead immediately. I'm talking, he's stinking stoned. He didn't even move. Look, check this out. Just like y'all saw, I hit him right there in the wing, straight through the back, dead. And I didn't touch the meat, so we're all clean in that regards. We got good, clean meat. All right, guys, we need to get behind this pillow. Stay low. The less they can see us, the better. You see that? Those are just blackbirds. Let's walk on around, and they may be on the side of the building or something. We'll keep looking. Look at that dog. Honestly, well, there goes a pigeon. It's flying, though. It might land, it might land, it might land. Let's just wait right here a second. So as you guys probably know, one of our biggest challenges is where we are and are not allowed to shoot, as in property-wise. As you can see, there's pigeons over there in the field, but we can't shoot over there. They're kind of like, they're safe. What wouldn't be a bad idea though is to bring like a mini drone and just pretty much just aggravate them enough to come over here. We might do that next time for real. Life. Guys, Kendall just walked like around the building. Now look. Dude, they know the property lines. They must have Onyx maps. No cap. I'm gonna shoot the ones where I have a good backdrop. Ready? Did he get away? Yeah, he got away. Bro, what? It's this one. That wasn't a bad shot. I mean, I f it felt like a good shot, but it just didn't connect. I mean, it did connect. It just didn't connect with the piece of his body needed to just put him down. Guys, these pigeons, they're just like a foot on the wrong side of the fence. We can't do nothing about it. If I could just spook them up to the power lines, we'd be perfect. But we can't. Look at that. They know. They know. They know. That's the easiest shot I'd ever make in my entire life. You got him, you got him. I got him. Yeah. He's we just need roof. him to twitch off the roof. Yeah. Oh, he fell, he yes. fell. 
Let's go. That's the thing about those flat roofs, man. They can't slide off. But I had a plan. Next time we come out, I got a really good plan. There he is. I had to go for a neck shot. Look at him twitching. See, listen, here's the thing, guys. He's dead in a hammer, but here's what happens. If you shoot him in the lungs and heart, which is like these vitals, they pretty much just, and then they just die. If you shoot them in the head or neck, somewhere where you hit their nerves, they spaz out. This guy, I hit him right there in the neck, so he's still kind of twitching a little bit, but at the end of the day, he's dead or hammer. As y'all can see from that shot, it's not really a shot I wanted to take because it was a little close to the roof, but I knew I could take the shot, that's why I did. But because there is a lot of potential for shots like that, that's why an air gun like this is actually better than a 22. Because even if I did miss, this pellet is carrying so little energy that it wouldn't do anything to the building at all. We're actually gonna take these things home, skin them up, and we're gonna cook them to see just how good these things can be. You got a pigeon feather on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is showtime. This is where we turn this thing that was flying around into meat that's going on the smoker. Let's get started. about perfect oh yeah what do you think it's gonna be like just like dove I'd say okay. good um we try another one we try another I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. That ain't bad at all, is Filet it? Filet minion. 